I'm Patrick Pham. And I'm Gus Becker. And we're both seniors here at St. Thomas High School. Welcome to the STH Open House. Uh, we're sad to see that you're not able to join us here on campus, but hopefully virtually you'll get a good feel of what it means to be a St. Thomas student. We are going to treat this day as if you were actually here on campus for Open House. You're going to hear from our educational heads. You're going to hear about athletics, counseling, everything and anything you want to know about being an STH Eagle, you're going to hear about today. And remember, this is an interactive experience, so make sure to type in your questions and comments in the chat because we have moderators that will help you out and answer all your questions. And now, without further ado, welcome to, to the, the STH Open House. Open House. Good evening and welcome to St. Thomas High School. My name is Father Jim Murphy. I'm the, I serve as the president of St. Thomas and it's a privilege to welcome you here tonight. Let us begin with prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, at St. Thomas, we strive to live the ideals of goodness, discipline, and knowledge. Tonight, we welcome numerous families who look to extend their education. Tonight, we ask that we have hearts and minds that are welcoming to all who come to our building and to all who seek a great secondary education. St. Thomas was founded to teach young men who will go out into the world to be great men. Bless this night. Bless all who come into our, our school and who, to, who truly seek goodness, discipline, and knowledge. May this night be joyful and a learning experience for all of us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Thomas Aquinas, pray for us. St. Basil the Great, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hi, I'm Patrick Pham. And I'm Jay Yeboa. And we're going to give you a day in the life of a St. Thomas student. We're going to show you what it means to be a St. Thomas Eagle, a place where you're going to make lifelong friends and lifelong memories. Welcome to St. Thomas High School. Come on, let's go. Our tour begins here in the Rotunda, where you're reminded every day, Eagle fight never dies. This is a place of uncompromising academics and uncommon brotherhood, where tradition meets tomorrow. Did you know that our school's been around for over 120 years? Here at St. Thomas High School, we're dedicated to fostering a lifelong brotherhood. And that all begins the second you step on campus. The first week of school, you're sent to Camp Aquinas, where you'll be divided into eight houses. All the students and teachers will be divided up, even you. This is my house, House McGee. As a senior leader house captain, I look forward to welcoming all my future House McGee members. How about you, Jaden? I'm a part of House Bellish. An interesting fact about Father Bellish is that he knew every student's name. It's a tradition we still carry on today. Here at STH, you're part of the family, you're not a number. Did you know we have over 10,000 alumni? Welcome to the English department. Here, you're gonna learn skills that will help propel you throughout your life. You're gonna learn how to write a good essay, participate in Socratic seminars, and learn how to be an effective communicator. I've had the opportunity to read many great books like The Odyssey, Dante's Inferno, and The Life of Pi. It was great, up until the end though. What do you mean, man? That's the best part! I don't know about that one. <sighs> Did you know that 72% of our faculty have an advanced degree? That includes 11 PhDs. Part of the mission at St. Thomas is to help you grow in your faith. We offer daily mass and other faith formation opportunities throughout the week. Hey Patrick, you want to tell them about our service hours? Of course, Jaden. I've had many opportunities to serve the community at large. I was able to work with the track team and plant trees at Memorial Park. I was able to work at the food bank with the rest of my class. Here at St. Thomas, we offer many different opportunities for students to serve internationally with mission trips. Did you know this year alone, we earned over 28,000 hours of service as a community. 
This is the counseling department. You'll be assigned to counselor the first time you step on campus here at St. Thomas High School. With a 100% acceptance rate to college, these are the guys for you. They'll help you get into your dream college. Did you know that the average scholarship earned by an STH graduate is over $75,000? Hola, me llamo Jaden. But you already know that. We offer multiple foreign languages, Spanish, French, Mandarin, and Latin. Did you know that the theology department offers dual credit classes with the University of St. Thomas? You think history is boring? Not at St. Thomas. History is more than the words on a textbook. It comes alive here at St. Thomas High School. During freshman year, I had the opportunity to build a trebuchet. Did you know that our average ACT score is 28% above the national average? Welcome to the Learning Enrichment Center. Here at the LEC, we offer many different independent study opportunities, as well as having on-site academic tutors who are here to enable you to achieve your academic goals. Isn't that right, Jaden? Not only do you have access to all these books for research, you'll be getting a laptop too. Did you know we offer more than 19 AP classes at St. Thomas? This is our new student center. It's a great place to relax. You can come here during lunch and flex time and just hang out. We're in the Eagle Broadcasting Studio, part of the many clubs and organizations we offer at St. Thomas. As an EVN anchor, I've had the opportunity to cover many different stories in the morning. I'm also the captain of the speech and debate team, member of the theater program, and a representative on the student council. With the many clubs and organizations we offer, you can find your passion. Did you know at St. Thomas, the student-teacher ratio is nine to one? Welcome to our fine arts department. It is here where you're able to hone in on your creative skills and think beyond the classroom. We offer a vast variety of classes from ceramics to fundamentals of art and so much more. Ceramics is the reason why I love St. Thomas High School. This is our band hall. Here at St. Thomas High School, we have an award-winning band, orchestra, and choir. You're currently backstage of SEMO Auditorium. This is where we have our theater productions, band concerts, and school-wide assemblies. We also hold school dances with our sister schools. And roundup assemblies, where you have the opportunity to win gift cards and days off. Did you know we have 14,000 square feet of new STEM facilities? Welcome to our brand new STEM facility, where you'll find state-of-the-art technology and the most rigorous academic program in the city of Houston. In the STEM Center, you'll have the opportunity to take physics, biology, and chemistry, as well as environmental science, anatomy, and earth science. Many of these courses are offered as AP classes. Also in STEM is our brand new makerspace, where many of our students are taking engineering. Many of our engineering students are building electric cars, bridges, and even 3D models of the city of Houston. Did you know we have students from over 120 zip codes? You hear that? That's the sound of Eagle Pride. Come on. This is it. Welcome to Reckling Gymnasium. There's nothing better than a packed Friday night game. Hey, Jane, you remember that game during our sophomore year? Yeah, the one we won in overtime? Yeah, this place was popping, man. It was rocking, man. <laughs> nice shot. Yeah, man. On Friday nights in the fall, there's nothing better than Eagle football. Did you know we have over 103 athletic state championships? With the addition of the new Joplin campus, we'll be having a new athletic complex, baseball stadium, basketball gym, wrestling room, athletic training room, and a brand new weight room. Here at St. Thomas, we have 12 varsity sports. Baseball, basketball, cross country, football, golf, cross, rugby, soccer, swimming, track and field, tennis, and wrestling, and we look forward to expanding our athletic program in the future. Did you know we have over 100 alumni competing in collegiate athletics? The sacred mission of St. Thomas is to teach goodness, discipline, and knowledge. Today, I hope you're able to see St. Thomas as the place for you. Not only are you going to excel academically, but you're gonna make lifelong friends, memories, and connections. Hey, don't forget, you're gonna have a great time. <laughs> Welcome to St. Thomas. My name is Father Jim Murphy and I serve as, as the president here. St. Thomas was founded in 1900. 
And the beginning of our school had to deal with the great hurricane of 1900, delaying things and making things a bit of a mess. In 1940, we moved our school to our present campus. And at the time, the father T.P. O'Rourke, who helped to move the campus here, people said he was crazy. Why would you move to the end of Memorial? Think of where you live now. This was the end of Memorial. And people thought St. Thomas was crazy. You couldn't even see the courthouse from here. And those first few years for students coming to this campus, a whole new commute. In those first few years, our country was at war. What St. Thomas does, I think, better than anything, is we deal with reality. And this year has been <laughs> an unreal reality for all of us. And yet, we still move forward. Our current senior class is a special class, as you saw a few examples in the video. When they were freshmen, they had to deal with Harvey as their entry into high school. And yet, they are one of the most resilient, community-oriented, and caring classes we have ever had. Now, we're looking for the 125th class to come to St. Thomas. A daunting challenge when you consider all the great classes who have faced difficult realities before. And we're looking forward to seeing what young men will step forward and say, this is the type of school I want to be a part of. This is the education I want, and this is the school where I will thrive. So welcome to St. Thomas. Enjoy your evening. Ask questions, especially of our students. Get an understanding of, of who we are and why we are here and how we can be better because of you, because that is reality. You will make us better as we strive to make you better. Now it's my privilege and an honor to introduce to you an alum of St. Thomas of the class of 1996, our principal, Dr. Aaron Dominguez. Greetings uh, and welcome. You know, one of the things that we're constantly bombarded with these days is just how awful 2020 is. I mean, it's on Instagram. My friends are sending me funny memes about it. Uh, it's even the reason why my beloved Longhorns are yet again not having a super successful football season. So it's constantly upon us. And I, I in no way want to uh, demean some of the plight that, that many people in this country have faced this year. But for me, I have to say that 2020 has been a blessing. Not only uh, am I blessed with a wonderful family and wife and job that I adore, but it's really revealed to me just how amazing the St. Thomas faculty, staff, students, and families truly are. You know, as a testament to that, when you walked in here this evening, you may have noticed a pile of household items in the back of SEMO Auditorium. And over the course of this last week or, or two weeks, our students in the midst of a pandemic and trying to finish up uh, the semester as we head towards the break, have collected enough household items to fill an entire shipping container that we'll be sending to a community in Honduras that we've partnered with and has been a member of our community through mission work we've done down there the past few years. And it's really been a beautiful thing to watch and to see and a testament to what I've been talking about. You know, last spring, when all this kind of came to be around COVID and schools across the country were scrambling with how we would move forward, how we deliver in this new environment, 
you know, it's a great challenge for families and faculty alike to continue the same level of academic excellence, but in a brand new environment. But seeing the way that our faculty responded in the midst of that adversity was truly inspiring. And right now, they are exhausted. I know they are greatly looking forward to the break next week, but they have never compromised on our mission of teaching goodness, discipline, and knowledge. You know, one person that comes to mind when I tell that story is the story of Mr. Cuneo. Now, Mr. Cuneo is a long tenured member of the faculty and staff. I'd say he's beloved by both families and his colleagues, but he holds a special place in my heart because way back in the early 90s, when uh, Mr. Van and I were freshmen here at St. Thomas High School, I guess you weren't a freshman at that time, but I was a freshman here at that time at St. Thomas High School. I had Mr. Cuneo for my biology teacher. And while Mr. Cuneo has many, many talents and many, many gifts, I never thought I would be standing up here tonight telling you that one of his gifts or one of his many talents was operating in the hybrid virtual learning environment, juggling new technology and Zoom calls and Teams and all these different things that teaching now demands. But I can stand up here and tell you today that it truly is a strength of his because Mr. Cuneo never compromised on who he was or the level of excellence that he would demand in the classroom. Instead, he learned, he adapted, he's changed, and he's grown and developed as a teacher, even after 30 years of inspiring young men. And Mr. Cuneo is just one story of many that I could tell you here tonight, a faculty that have gone on to do amazing things. He is but a small fraction of the full measure of excellence, of devotion, and of love that this faculty has poured out on this student body this year. And as you sit here discerning where you're gonna spend your high school career, what I'll tell you is, if you are lucky enough to be one of the ones that apply, is accepted, and matriculates to St. Thomas High School, you will be set forth on a path of excellence that will last the rest of your life. Your family will become a part of one of the finest communities and academic programs in this country. And I hope to be welcoming you to our freshman class very soon. Thank you, Father Murphy and Dr. Dominguez for sharing your experiences. And so what we want to do really quickly is just share our experiences of being at St. Thomas. Uh, so eighth grade year, Patrick and I went together to school, middle school and grade school, not pre-K. Um, way but, back. <laughs> way back. We go way back. Um, in eighth grade year, we were trying to decide where to come to school. And we ultimately honed in on St. Thomas for a few reasons, but two very notable ones. One, this place has an atmosphere. I don't know if it's because it's got over 100 years of history and a Basilian tradition. I don't know if it's because the teachers genuinely care and the class genuinely loves the school that they're at, but there is a feel to this place, and we all know it. Um, when we're talking with our friends, it's hilarious. They'll come home and they'll be like, I, it was a tough day at school. I don't, I don't like my school. And we look at each other and we go, Pfft. It was fun. We, we love our school. It's <laughs> It's, it's been such a, a good experience, and I could tell it was going to be from the moment I walked in. There, there's an atmosphere. People care. And two, in eighth grade, Patrick can speak to this too, we had a lot of interests. And there were interests that I wanted to continue to pursue in high school. Theater, speech, track, um, academic interests. I wanted to be able to do it all. And at an intimate school, where the class size is like 160 people, and the, they need you to do all those things. And they want to support you doing all these things. So I knew this was a school where I'd have the opportunity to make an impact. Yeah, impact. That, 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 that's all it's about for me. Um, when I got here, um, I had my interests, right? We both did speech and debate together. Who knew three years down the line we'd rank nationally, right? Um, I wanted to do swimming. And who knew we'd win our first state championship, right? Um, first in like 27 years. Yeah. It was, it was amazing. It, it, we've done things that we never thought would be possible. Um, and that's how your experience at St. Thomas is going to be. 
You're going to be able to hone in on your experiences and your passions, but you're also going to discover some new things that you never knew you liked. Like we worked on the business club together. Yeah. I joined the journalism team. I never thought never, I'd do never that. Never saw that one coming. For yeah, me. never for me. Good job. Yeah. Did a really good job. But I, I love it here because I'm able to hone in on my passions and explore new things and discover new parts about myself. And discover a path for the future too. I mean, we're we're seniors, but we're both heading off to college, and I feel like St. Thomas has given me the skill set, has given me the experience that I need to go to go conquer wherever I want to go. Patrick's trying to head to UT um, business honors program. I'm trying to head to Vanderbilt. And it's, I feel like St. Thomas has given me everything that I need to do to go be successful. Yeah. And I, you, you've made sure to take care and take advantage of every opportunity that we've been given. And every um, academic opportunity included. And that's what we want to talk about next. Um, we're going to introduce you to Miss Mary Criaco. She is one of our chief academic officers at St. Thomas. And she's going to talk to you about the academic journey here, which is so important at St. Thomas. AP courses, advanced courses, placement, um, and just what your path as a St. Thomas student is going to look like. So yeah. without further ado, uh, here's Mrs. Kriaka. Okay. Hello, my name is Mary Kriaka. I'm the assistant principal here at St. Thomas High School, and today I'd like to give you an overview of our academic programming. St. Thomas High School is a premier academic experience. We offer diverse course offerings through all of our departments. Anything that your son might be interested in taking or learning about, he can find here at St. Thomas. We offer advanced and AP or dual credit courses in each one of our departments. Our goal is for students to matriculate to their college of first choice. And we have a first-rate college counseling department that helps ensure that they will do just that. Before I begin with the academic overview, I kind of like to share some of our academic success stories, things that I'm quite proud of. Over the last five years, we've had 65 students commended by, through the National Merit Program. That's a very significant number for a school that averages 600 students. In the last two years, we've had 32 AP Scholars. What is an AP Scholar? An AP Scholar is a student who takes three or more AP exams and scores three or higher on those exams. We do offer 19 AP courses, and 75% of our students receive a three or higher on the score of their AP, and that's significant because that's how you receive college credit. We currently offer two dual credit course offerings through the University of St. Thomas. I'm excited to announce that next year we're gonna begin offering a third course, dual credit Texas government. What's significant about that is that is a course that is required by every college in the state of Texas. So we'll be sending our young men off to school with a course already completed. Our graduation requirements are 28 credits. Each year you'll take the big five, theology, English, history, science, and math. Uh, in addition to that, you'll take two years of a foreign language, you have to have a, a, a credit and a half of communication and technology, a credit and a half of PE and health, and then the rest of it will be made up through electives, four semesters or two complete electives uh, of your choosing. Typical freshman curriculum. Well, it begins with the big five that I mentioned previously, the theology, history, English, math, and science. Our freshmen begin their first year of their world language they have to take a semester of health as a required freshman course, and then they have a semester of elective of their choice. We offer many elective offerings. Most students choose to take PE or speech or computer applications as those are graduation requirements, but you can see through this slide that we have a plethora of fine arts offerings uh, from, from which your son can choose. Uh, one of the questions that I'm often asked is how do we place freshmen? to ensure that they will be successful. We use their prior academic record, their entrance exam scores, their teacher recommendations, and for math, science, and world language, we also offer a placement test. All those things together are used when we place your son in a position where he will be most successful in high school. Uh, thank you, Ms. Kriaka. So what Patrick and I want to talk to you all about right now is just some of the teachers we met our freshman year and uh, our experiences with them. 
Sure. So uh, freshman year, all right, uh, I'm coming in uh, as a, a, a fresh eighth grader, right? Um, I thought of myself as a STEM guy. I like science and math, um, not much English at all, right? <laughs> I didn't enjoy reading. That just wasn't my thing, right? I walk into Ms. Granberry's class, and we're reading Life of Pi, and I remember I, we finished reading the book, um, and I remember one day on my drive up to school, everything just clicked, <laughs> right? Yes. All, all the, the, the metaphors, um, all the themes just clicked. It made sense. And suddenly, just like that, I liked learning. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It, it might be, it might sound, you know, might seem silly, but it, it, it opened up a new world for me, right? Uh, Ms. Granberry's class taught me to be a lifelong learner. She sparked a flame that's going to continue throughout my entire life. I had a very similar experience with Mrs. Granberry and then also with Mr. Green, who is our world history teacher freshman year. Uh, Mr. Green is not a conventional teacher, and I'm so (laughs) glad he's not. He's actually a St. Thomas alum, but um, he teaches ancient world history. So we're learning about the Greeks and the Romans, Mesopotamians, everything. And boys really like like war and swords and fighting for some reason. And Mr. Green embraces that when he's teaching. Uh, We went out one day. There's this weapon called an atlatl, which is like a spear thrower. We all crafted our own atlatls, and we took turns on the field uh, throwing our spears and see who got the farthest. He, he, he like, had us fight with shields during class. Basically, I fell in love with the idea of learning. It, would not, it had not been there at middle school, like, at all. I became a lifelong learner partly thanks to those two teachers, and I've carried it with me the rest of my high school. And that's really important in high school because you're spending eight hours a day here, you're going to want to like like doing what you do. Yeah. You're going to want to like your academics. You're going to want to learn. It's going to make it easier. And St. Thomas freshman year teachers and the teachers for the rest of your high school career really help you get there. So now that we're on the topic of learning for a lifetime, we're going to talk to you about how your experience here at St. Thomas is going to propel you towards college and even beyond that. So we have a wonderful counseling department that will be introduced by Ms. Stevenson. Oh, she does great. She helps me with all my essays. And she's going to tell you a little bit more about our counseling department here at St. Thomas and what to look forward to here in high school and how we're going to get you into college. Serve as the director of counseling. The counseling team consists of five counselors who support our young men through a four-year comprehensive counseling program with a focus on academics, social, emotional, and college readiness. Our vision is to help students and their families navigate the continuously shifting terrain in college admissions to find the best fit college through programming and individualized support. Our support begins the summer before freshman year with laying the foundation for success at St. Thomas by setting academic goals and creating a four-year plan. Throughout the school year as a freshman, the young men meet with their counselors at least four times each semester to discover their learning styles set academic goals, and complete U-Science programming. With a strong foundation created as a freshman, the counselor will continue to guide through self-discovery activities, opportunities for career mentorship, and college exploration throughout their sophomore and junior year. Additionally, the counseling team equips the young men through small group programming that includes standardized test preparation, resume workshops, and social emotional support. Senior year, The counseling team supports the young men and families through the entire college application process with college application bootcamp programming, hosting numerous workshops to help each student find their best fit college. Our goal is to ensure each student and family are supported throughout the four years in college application process and each student is well matched with their best fit plans after high school. In order to ensure that all young men graduate from St. Thomas prepared to excel in college and life, our goal is that 100% of all students will be accepted to one of their top choice colleges senior year. So what does this mean? The counseling team has strategically created a four-year comprehensive plan to ensure that students have a robust list of options for colleges by senior year. It starts by using resources such as Naviance, Use Science, and discover the students' natural talents combined with their aptitude to generate a list of prospective colleges as an underclassman. Junior year, we collaborate with college admission representatives to provide case study programming along with small group sessions to assist students and families determine what are best fit colleges for the young man. 
We offer sessions over the summer between junior and senior year on essay camps, college applications, college admissions, and work with our college representatives to get additional feedback. Thank you, Ms. Stevenson, for a wonderful presentation on the counseling department. Now, speaking of counseling, Gus, how's your experience been? It's, it's been really good. So my counselor has been Mrs. Shipman. Uh, she's helped me across my four years to get to where I want to go. Uh, my first choice at the moment is Vanderbilt, and she's helping me get to that school. 100% of St. Thomas students will go to college. That is the goal of a college preparatory. But she has helped me get to my first choice, and that's what the counseling department at St. Thomas is all about, is getting you into what you want, where you want to go to college. Um, Mrs. Shipman's been great. She's helped me all four years, but I also got to know her on a personal level. Because St. Thomas is such a small school, even the counselor, counselors are involved with different aspects of the school. So Mrs. Shipman as, is a co-director for theater. Um, and I've gotten to get to know her, and she's gotten to get to know me through theater. So when it comes time for those letters of rec, uh, she can speak of my character better than most counselors can. Yeah, so the counselors, they're really there to help you all the way throughout your high school experience. They help you pick up your classes, and they're convenient. One email, one call away, and they're there to help you out. Um, and they're here to help you, you know, with your academic goals, but they're also here to help you explore other parts of the St. Thomas culture. One really key element of the St. Thomas community is athletics. Today, you're going to get to meet Coach Mike Netzel. He's going to tell you a little bit about our successes here so far, and he's going to give you a little sneak peek about what's going to happen in the future. Take a look. The St. Thomas community is Director of Athletics. It's been my pleasure to do so for 13 years. We provide a comprehensive athletic program. Our athletic department features 12 varsity sports, with most all sports providing multiple sub-varsity teams. Our goal is to have the best private school athletic program in Texas. Our program gives a student athlete opportunities for success both at STH and beyond. We've had 160 athletes over the last 13 years move on to the collegiate and professional levels. We also provide first-class athletic facilities that are only getting better highlighted by the new weight room, wrestling facility, and auxiliary gymnasium at the Joplin campus. Our vision for an STH student athlete is to truly have him grow as a person, team member, and competitor. While we enjoy the spoils of winning district, regional, and state championships, we achieve these results by valuing the process of preparation. Not only preparation strategically and skill-wise, but preparation as a man. Our coaching staff takes pride in developing the character traits necessary to achieve success, not only in athletics, but in life. Thank you, Coach Netzel. Uh, Patrick, do you want to talk a little bit about your athletic experience at St. Thomas? Yeah, sure. So uh, I've been a student athlete since freshman year. Uh, I came into uh, St. Thomas wanting to become a swimmer and a track runner. Um, and the, the community at St. Thomas really encourages you to play more than one sport, actually. Um, about two-thirds of our um, students play sports, and most of them actually play multiple sports. You're never just allowed to play one sport. I've seen kids do sports in season, too, like two sports in season. I mean, there's some rules about that, but you're never, like, come to St. Thomas and you're just a track guy, just a basketball guy. You want to do two, three you have the opportunity to. Yeah, like my swim team and track season, they overlap a little bit, but the coaches are willing to work together and you know do whatever it takes to win, right? Speaking of winning, we did a lot of that. Um, during my sophomore year, we won our first ever swimming state championship. And right after that, we won track. And then we won back-to-back -back swimming the year after that. Very uh, successful program at St. Thomas. Yeah, so we, we've been able to do it all. But um, more than just athletics, um, we want to encourage you uh, to do more than just athletics. You do more than just um, run, right? What, what happens is you'll find students, you know, sometimes they're football players, and they're also in the choir. St. Thomas wants well-rounded men. They want people to do basketball and speech and theater and chess and football. They want you to do all of it because that's what makes a well-rounded man, a good man, a great man. Um, and so student activities here is very, very important. That's where you get a well-rounded St. Thomas Eagle. And so Mr. O'Brien is going to introduce and talk to us about student activities. 
As the Director of Student Activities, I oversee all co-curriculum clubs and organization on campus, with the exception of athletics, of course. St. Thomas currently boasts over two dozen special interest clubs, a robust student council program, and several student leadership groups, all of which bring the St. Thomas experience to life for every student. My daily life as the activities directors might include moderating our student council, clubs, and Eagle Guards meetings, approving the launching of a month's worth of events for Hispanic Heritage Month, planning our Fish Week, which is our freshman orientation program here at St. Thomas, and also approving bracket scheduling and food truck visits for our annual Fall Olympics Field Day. I believe that co-curricular activities are vital to the growth of a well-rounded young adult. The activities department's goal is to offer a variety of social opportunities to give all students a chance to extend learning that will support their academic interests, develop their leadership skills, facilitate new friendships, expand new interests, improve social skills, and to simply have fun. Ultimately, I want all of our students to be fully prepared for life after graduation. Thank you, Mr. O'Brien. There are a lot of clubs and activities to talk about. So if you want to learn more about what STH has to offer, just check the link below or check the website. Yep, and along with student activities and athletics, we're also here to support you through your academic experience as well. Here at the LEC, or the Learning Enrichment Center, Ms. Caroline Becker is gonna take you into more detail about how we help you academically. As the director of the LEC, I lead a team whose main priority is to aid students in developing skills that will help them be successful in their classes and beyond. I work with students on developing ex executive functioning skills, such as staying organized, managing time effectively, developing study plans, etc. Our team consists of five specialists who offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring in math, science, English, world languages, and social studies. Additionally, I also collaborate with teachers and school leaders to support students with learning differences through the implementation and utilization of their classroom accommodations. As the leader of our Circle of Care team, I work with the counseling team and other school leaders to develop support plans for students who are struggling for any reason at St. Thomas. This could include academic challenges, physical illness, social concerns, and or socio-emotional difficulties. We are committed to helping students determine any skills in need of improvement or support. Once those are identified, we work together as a team, along with teachers and counselors, to develop a support plan for the student. For some students, the best support we can offer is a quiet space for studying or homework completion. For others, they may just have an occasional need to quickly review a question or concept. And for others, we may determine it is best to regularly work together to provide ongoing and individualized support. We strive to extend the work our teachers do in the classroom so that St. Thomas students become more proficient, versatile, and more confident in their academic studies. Becker, for telling us a little bit more about the LEC. You know, it's a very popular place on campus, and Gus and I, we spend a lot of time there. Our whole friend group does. Yeah. Uh, it's, on a lot of days, it's really hard to find a table there. Everyone wants to be there. It's a quiet environment to work, um, and we have very, very good specialists there to help us out. We'd love to go visit them. Uh, Dr. Fuchs is a math wizard. Dr. Spearing helped us with <laughs> advanced chemistry when we were really struggling. <laughs> They're there to help you regardless of where you are on the academic spectrum, whether it's Algebra 1 or AP Calculus, and they do a great job. One of the other really cool things about the LEC, Patrick and I are both in NHS, uh, and they, NHS sponsors a peer mentoring program if you want to talk about that. Yeah, sure. So we have an AIM program, and basically it is 
us students, upperclassmen, helping out other students that are struggling with the same things that we struggled with. Right. Uh, I remember uh, just last year I was helping someone with uh, advanced biology, something that I took <laughs> freshman year. Woo! Right. Uh, something Hardest that I wasn't great at. Year. Oh, class. yeah. I, I wasn't great at it. But, you know, I was able to overcome my struggles and learn the material. And so then I revisited that and helped uh, another freshman uh, with their struggles. Um, and that's a way that, you know, we can do service back to our community. Uh, right. NHS is one of the many service opportunities and organizations that we have on campus. And uh, speaking of service, um, I'd like to introduce you all to uh, Coach Q. He is the dean of our theology department, and he's going to tell you a little bit more about service. Campus ministry offers dozens of faith formation activities and retreats that are geared at helping our young men grow closer with Jesus Christ. I really do believe we have the best retreat program in the country. Camp Aquinas, which is the freshman retreat, is geared at forging young men into servant leaders. This is accomplished through a comprehensive leadership curriculum based both in authentic mentorship and the powerful experience of nature. In regards to service, we'll ask our boys to complete 25 hours of service each year. The large majority of our boys go way above and beyond these requirements. All service needs to be connected to Catholic social justice principles. In the past, we have taken students on mission trips, worked with the homeless in Houston, and raised over 1,500 toys for the needy. Service is all about taking what students have learned in the classroom and on retreat and putting it into practice. In reverence and commitment to the sacramental life, we offer compelling faith formation programs, edifying retreats, and a commitment to serve within the social justice context of the church. As we strive to make Jesus Christ known to our students, they in turn discover the assurance of God's grace, transforming into intentional disciples that are the leaven of the gospel, and ultimately servant leaders partaking in the heavenly banquet. Thank you, Coach Q. Our motto at St. Thomas is teach me goodness, discipline, and knowledge. And that is what service and faith formation is all about at St. Thomas. Uh, they give you the opportunity to go to daily mass, rosaries. We have a monthly mass where we have a father-son mass and a mother-son mass. There are all these opportunities for you to keep on continuing on your own faith journey, where, however that means for you. And it's all to live out this motto that has been the Basilian motto for so long of teach me goodness, discipline, and knowledge. Now, we're sad to see that you weren't able to join us here on campus, but we decided to grab all of our academic deans to tell you a little bit more about all the classes and courses you'll be taking here at St. Thomas High School. Take a look. Hi, I'm Daniel Bryant, class of 1993, and the Dean of the St. Thomas High School Science Department. The St. Thomas High School Science Department exists to help students discover the beauty and complexity of the known universe. We foster this environment through interactive laboratory activities and using our state-of-the-art science facilities. We model goodness, discipline, and knowledge while facilitating the training of science in a safe environment. 75% of the faculty at the St. Thomas High School Science Department hold advanced degrees. And our department has over 105 years of combined teaching experience. Our facilities are designed for collaboration and innovation, including real world problem solving and the emphasis on STEM learning with our makerspace and with our engineering courses. Our course offerings start with freshmen taking biology or advanced biology, and then advancing into chemistry their sophomore year, in which we also offer advanced chemistry. 
Juniors and seniors can pick from a host of physics offerings, as well as every AP science course. Coming to St. Thomas High School, students can choose to focus on a pre-med course, taking anatomy and AP biology. Students that are interested in engineering can take our applications of engineering, AP Physics 1 or AP Physics 2. And students that just want to learn more about the world around them can pick from other courses such as AP Environmental Science. Our department has faced a lot of struggles over the past few years because of COVID-19. Even in a remote environment, all of our AP courses scored above both the state and global averages. This is a testament to the hard work of our students and to the expert teaching of our faculty. Additionally, for three consecutive years, we have shown posted growth in our science composite PSAT scores, leading the way for our students to earn the maximum credit on the PSAT. Hi, my name is Cho Nguyen and I am the Dean of the Fine Arts at St. Thomas High School. And here at St. Thomas, we believe the arts is um, important to the development of the whole person. The Fine Arts Department is made up of the music, theater, and visual arts teachers. As you can see, we offer a wide variety of classes. We champion creativity and self-expression, and our rigorous courses provide challenges to all levels of learners and artistic skill. All are welcomed. If you've never played an instrument before but want to, take band. Our teachers will set you up with an instrument and teach you to read music. If you want to work the sound and light boards, build sets, or design play posters, join Theater Tech. If you love to work with your hands, take ceramics or printmaking. Interested in fulfilling your technology credit and studying marketing later on? Digital graphics might be the course for you. Our students perform throughout the year, both on campus at events like football games, mass, theater productions, and out in the community at events like the Astros game, charity events, and state and national competitions. Our performance classes also work closely with our sister schools to sing, act, and play music together. Many of our students stay involved for all four years that they are here as they develop and discover their artistic skills. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you for your time and consideration. Hi, my name is Will Nash and I am the Dean of the Communications and Technology Department at St. Thomas High School. I'm here to tell you a little bit about some of the exciting offerings that our department has and to give you a little bit more information. In the Communications and Technology Department, we believe in a hands-on and experiential learning approach that affords our students the opportunity to interact with industry level software and skills and to have real world situations and applications to their technology and communications. A variety of different teaching methods from Socratic dialogue, hands-on student projects for real world situations, and even traditional 14 courses in our department. Everything from introductory courses such as introduction to journalism, speech and debate, and computer applications, all the way up through upper level courses like advanced journalism and AP computer science and AP computer science principles proud to say that our AP pass rate for both AP computer science classes has been 100%. In addition to our courses, we offer many extracurricular activities from our Eagle Broadcast Network to the robotics competition team to the Aquin yearbook. The good news about our extracurricular activities is that it is not necessary to wait until your upperclassmen years to join. Many of these competition teams and extracurriculars are accessible to freshmen as soon as they become enrolled. Hi, welcome to St. Thomas's World Languages Department. My name's Lauren Lee, I'm the Dean of World Languages. Here we offer Spanish, French, Latin, and Mandarin Chinese. 
Students at St. Thomas are required to choose a language to study for two years. Many opt to take a third or even fourth year simply for the love of the language. But more importantly, doing so helps them stand out on their college applications. Some even decide to double up and take language as an elective course in their junior or senior year. After two to four years in our language program, our goal is to have nurtured our young men to become global citizens. Someone who is curious about the world around them and makes connections with the language and culture they have learned both in and outside the classroom. And someone who can use these newfound perspectives to critically think about and break down cultural biases and stereotypes. Something that is so important in a multicultural city like ours. We do this in two ways, through academic excellence and cultural exploration. In this past year, 39 of our students received an award for their outstanding performance on the National Spanish or National Latin exams. With regards to culture, although we embed cultural tidbits in our lessons, we also try to bring our boys to the culture. For example, the Mandarin class goes on an annual field trip during the Lunar New Year to participate in cultural activities and eat authentic Chinese cuisine. Here on campus, we have the Asian Culture Club and Spanish Club two student-led organizations that try to educate others on aspects of a specific country or region's culture, all while having a little fun. Hello, welcome to St. Thomas. I'm Brett Mills, Dean of the Social Studies Department, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about St. Thomas history. Uh, here at St. Thomas, what we're really excited about is that we teach uh, history uh, through critical thinking. We use uh, history as a device by which to teach that so that our students have a lot of depth and knowledge and are able to solve problems in the future. Uh, we, hope, we know that this does uh, a great deal for PSAT scores, SAT scores, and ACT scores. Uh, we offer a wide variety of courses here at St. Thomas. Uh, we, we offer uh, AP courses at the sophomore level, which was world history, at the junior level, which is uh, U.S. history, and at the senior level at government. We also uh, provide a wide range of, uh, an exciting range of electives. We teach uh, warfare and antiquity here, U.S. military history, world affairs, a legal course, and a new brand new course on Civil War uh, for all of our students. We find that this, uh, these college offerings are exciting for students. Uh, it helps prepare them and it gives them some variety. Uh, we hope to see you soon and we know that your student will enjoy their experience here at the, uh, at the History Department at St. Thomas. Thanks for coming. Hi, my name is Beth Brewer. I'm here at St. Thomas with the Mathematics Department. The Mathematics is a way of approaching uh, new challenges through exploring, reasoning, visualizing, and problem solving. A student that actively participates in four years here at St. Thomas will graduate as a critical thinker that can reason effectively and be a problem solver. So I know the big question that you all have is, where is my student gonna be? So we have ways of deciding that is through testing, but do realize that there are many, many paths. So if you look at our flow chart that we have here, there are so many paths in which your son can take. Any of the boxes that you see have that have a dark black outline are possibilities for your son to start in his freshman year. Notice that all of them have a path to that end goal of possibly an AP course their senior year. There is no path that that student is gonna go on that won't can't reach that end. So as I just showed you here in the mathematics department, there are many paths in which your son could take. Here's just a broad overview of all those possible courses in which your son could be in. My name is David Fritch and I'm a teacher and alumnus of St. Thomas High School. And the overall goal of the English department is to use literature and writing as a way for students to interact with the world. And the ultimate goal 
is to prepare our young men for success both in college and in their professional life, uh, helping them practice with close reading, uh, with, with clear writing, uh, being able to listen and speak uh, carefully and coherently uh, across uh, an array of different subjects uh, and, and for a, a variety of different purposes. To do this, we offer a college preparatory track and an advanced placement track uh, across all four grade levels. We start with the freshman uh, reading works of mythology and ancient literature, uh, everything from the Odyssey and the Inferno uh, all the way up to uh, William Shakespeare. Uh, in the 10th grade, we start with Shakespeare and we work up through modern uh, world literature. Uh, 11th grade is uh, American uh, literature uh, from uh, the Pilgrim and Puritan era all the way up uh, to modern uh, literature as well. Uh, and then with the seniors, we do uh, a survey of, of British literature uh, all the way from Beowulf uh, at the very beginning uh, up through um, the, the 21st century. Hi, my name is Andrew Quiddington, and I serve as the Dean of the Theology Department at St. Thomas High School. As a Theology Department at St. Thomas is to help shape true disciples of Jesus Christ that have a rich prayer life, know the content of the Gospels, and more importantly, live their faith. During the week, we offer several programs to help kids grow in their faith. On Mondays, we have a virtual mass, as well as on Fridays. Tuesdays, we do Bible study, where we study the scriptures uh, in the light of Thomas Aquinas. Wednesday, we gather and pray rosary. And Thursday, we offer a liturgy of the hours. In terms of grading in the theology department, we offer a bunch of different ways that we assess students on mastery of content. These include Socratic seminars, major essays, where students often have a lot of choices, traditional tests, group presentations, and year-end projects. What's awesome about our theology department is that we have many different electives that students can sign up for. Some of the electives we offer include advanced scripture and advanced ancient philosophy, which both count for dual college credits. We also offer healing racism, bioethics, world religions, Christ and popular culture, Catholic social teaching, and the Holocaust in Christian-Jewish dialogue. Regardless of your religious background, by the time you leave St. Thomas, we will help you grow in your own faith and help you develop your moral compass so that you'll be leaders in our world. You just saw what St. Thomas has to offer academically and what makes St. Thomas the best academic experience in the city of Houston. But now we want to talk about what makes St. Thomas truly special, what makes it unique, it's community. Yeah, and the embodiment of community and brotherhood here at St. Thomas is something called Roundup. Now, Roundup is a student-led fundraiser where we raise money so that you and each other can go to St. Thomas High School. Uh, we don't want uh, any financial barriers to stop you from coming to St. Thomas. Uh, now, I'm personally on scholarship and financial aid. Uh, one third of students at St. Thomas are here because we raise money for each other. Ultimately, we want you to become St. Thomas Eagles. So we're gonna kick it over to Dr. Holmes, who's going to explain to you the process of becoming an Eagle. Greetings, my name is Dr. Max Holmes, and I'm the Director of Admissions here at St. Thomas High School. Today, I'd like to give you an overview of the application process and timeline. For students to consider admissions into St. Thomas High School, they will need to submit the following information. A St. Thomas High School application, submit entrance exam scores. We accept either the IC or the HSPT. In addition, we will also need to receive the student's middle school records, including any standardized test scores, math and English teacher recommendations, a student statement, and a student resume. For your son to be considered into the St. Thomas High School class of 2025, he must submit a complete application by January 15th, 2021. Another important date is the financial aid application deadline. Right now, financial aid applications are open and we will be receiving and accepting those applications up until February 1st, 2021. Thank you for joining us today for the virtual open house. 
We understand that we weren't able to get you on campus this time. However, if you would like to do a personal tour or see our campus, please do not hesitate to contact the admissions office. Thank you all so much for coming with us today on our virtual open house. We look forward to seeing you join our Eagle family. And remember, Eagle, Eagle fight never dies. dies.